hopefully get the credit on the next matter that you deserve. Just make like a larger format comic. Yeah, I'm, I'm into that. I really think you should. I mean, See, I enjoy it so much more when it's larger. I, I don't know. When I was a kid, you know, we'd get the Sunday paper, and it would have colored comics in it, you know, and the full page. Yeah. And it was just a joy, you know. I, I just, uh, it was a sports page. I read the comic section of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. These papers really today aren't really that viable anymore, but I just, it just takes me back when I expand these pages and I see the detail, you know, it's, um, it takes me back to those days when I could look at the newspaper, you know, and, and see the comics in a, a larger format. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, son, it's, it's a to totally different experience when I, you know, when I compare this to you know, the typical, you don't, you just don't see the beauty of all of the lines that you spent so much time putting in there. You don't see it. <laughs> it's not there. I mean, maybe it's there, but look, look what happens when you, when, it when you reduce it. I, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have been asking for like a larger size version. Look at but... that. Yeah, probably yeah. they're like me, old and blind, you know, but uh, <laughs> look what happens, you know, when you expand that and, and look down into it. It's like looking in a microscope, you know, at some of these little creatures that the Lord makes and, uh, you know, how much detail he puts into them. It's kind of fascinating to see some of those little microscopic beasties. Yeah, you know? beasties is a good word for them. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's... <laughs> Uh, but, you know, he spends as much time on them as he spends on us. It's just uh, remarkable how much detail there is in it. Well, I wish I could get Rec Planet done in six days and take a break on the 7th. <laughs> yeah. It's important to me. I, I you know. Well, you know, uh, there are some assumptions that are made about that six days thing. The length of a day. Yeah. Um, there are assumptions made which are unfounded really in the scriptures that each day followed directly after another Not necessarily so hmm. I think you could argue and I personally believe that these were each day was an era an epic you mm -hmm. know, um, an episode in the creation process it was a day one, and then there was years when the creators went and we will return, we will report, and then the Lord says, go again. So there was that long space of time between day one and then day two, which is over here. So you can't think of it linearly, you know, one, two, three, four, five. It's just as, I think, valid to think of it as having, you know, one space two space mm. three and that would account for the millions even billions of years that the whole creation process took if you look at our solar system now you see spheres you know jupiter saturn mars you see the uh, these are worlds that are in the process of being made they're each in a certain day right now you know um so, anyway, I don't know how I got onto that. But. Well, you're trying to give me an excuse. You're saying, go <laughs> ahead and say that it only took you six days to make Wreck Planet. It was just the days were a millennium each. Look at this, son. Yeah. 
Well, you, you're you very acquainted with this because you're the creator of this, um, but I am enjoying it enlarged. Like I was, you know, when I was looking at your portfolios over there, uh, just the black and white inking, um, extraordinary. You know, I called you the Rembrandt of comics, and I really meant that. It's just, uh, this isn't done. It, you know, you look at this and you say, he's not speeding, he's not rushing to get this done. He, This is a legacy for him. This is something that um, he wants to endure you know it's very meaningful to me I look at it and I'm just astounded that anyone would have the patience to put that many lines on a page <laughs> every little and I've watched you do it and, and it, to me it's magic you know to see it happening where you take so much time you never rush it's never a bunch of shading and, and it's information like detail to me is information so when you're, you know, it's not about lines, it's about, you know, we, we want to make sure that, it, you know, looking at something closer is rewarding. Yeah. So if you're actually going to look at what's, uh, you know, underneath the, the hive ship and in the background, you are going to see Philadelphia covered in hives. If you want to look that closely, that's, it needs to be there for people who choose to look that closely. And it, for me, like, you know, um, it's always been disappointing to look at comic book art that doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. That once you look at just what's on the surface, there's nothing else to really see. Yeah. But there needs to be, you know, there needs to be information available yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean. You know, when when um, <laughs> I think of Conan the Barbarian back in the '70s when I was in the army, it was released. You know, and uh, um. The artistry in that was just so much in advance of what I had been used to that I, I was mesmerized by it. This surpasses that. You know, Barry Windsor Smith was like a leap forward. Yeah, he time. was. Yeah, a leap forward, you giant leap, and I couldn't wait for the for the books to be released each month. You know, I'd go down to the uh, comic shop down and pick up the latest copy, and I was, you know, I could study it, but. This is. Um, I think you're saying that because I'm your son, but I I don't I to no, me it's not no, no, to no, me I, it's not no. being like better than Barry Windsor Smith because I'm not. I I just want to leap forward from the last thing that. What? I want to be on the video. <laughs> <laughs> and I want <laughs> I I want to uh, contradict what you just said. That's nice of you, but yeah, to me it's like it's just not being about better. Our, this needs to be better than blood, honey. Look at this. I mean, there's, like you say, there's so much information contained in this. It's like a microchip here. Uh-huh, yeah. You know, but you don't catch it um, unless you... Read it three or four times and look closer at it. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's going to reward repeat readings. And even combined with the, the prior book and the books that are come after it, it's all connected. There are things that will interlock. It may be that I'm just an old man and I don't see things well enough, you know, until they are actually enlarged like this. Enlarged, sure. Well, maybe maybe we'll do that, Dad. Hey, thanks, Dad. I'm going to post this as a video. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know I, you wouldn't mind. I love you. Love you, too. Hello. Get your incredible Salamandroid Mega Mug. Hold 16 ounces of your favorite beverage. On our eBay store, the link is below in the description. Thanks, everyone. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Stay in touch with me over on my Twitter. You'll get art previews, news, and opinions at Ethan Van Skyver. I'll see you over there.